at the present time. Science Cook. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ariz Khanjari as a science cook. Science cook is a person who wants to cook science issue in a way not only staying in anybody's stomach, but also everybody can digest it. Even if that science issue relate to spread a tablecloth for trillion uninvited guests. Now, recipe for feeding trillion uninvited guests. A piece of bread, 45 to 60 grams of low-fat cheese, vegetables as required more and more, walnut as required, and 200 square meters tablecloth. Well, there are two questions. First of all, how can trillion uninvited guests come together around the 200 square meter tobacco? You may be wondering, I mean, how this large number of the guests can be real? However, the total population of the world is nearly 7 billion people, so the number of our guests are more than the number of the people around the world. Is it possible? <laughs> I say yes, it's possible. And now, another question. How we can feed this large number of guests with this a piece of bread, cheese and walnut? Are these enough for all of them? <laughs> yes, I say yes. That's enough, because their bodies are very small, and we call them bacteria. We can't see bacteria without microscope, but why do we want to feed bacteria? Because these tiny creatures are useful for our body, and without them, we can't digest food well. How can this invisible bacteria come together around the 200 square meters tablecloth? The answer is that this tablecloth is available. Since you are burned and we just need to put food in it, this 200 square meter tablecloth is our intestine. And these guests are in our intestine. Well, I bring myself a portion of human's intestine, and I want to show you how it works in our body. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce human's intestine. This is human's intestine, part of human's intestine. Most of us imagine that our intestine is look like a hose. However, it is not true. Human's intestine works way very similar to this sausage. In the other word, food after digesting in the stomach enters intestine and moves very. Now, what is the relationship between bread, cheese, and walnut with function of human's intestine? The function of this food for our intestine is exactly similar to the function of damp tissue and sunlight for wheat seed. In the other word, as well as damp tissue which makes the environment of wheat seed wet for sprouting, bread, cheese and walnut make human's intestine wet and prevent from dryness of intestine cells and help better function of bacteria. Now, I want to show you the structure of intestine with this towel. Bread, cheese, walnut and vegetable are interested food of bacteria because this food is full of fiber and probiotics. If there aren't enough fiber and probiotics in intestine, the function of bacteria disrupts, and anything that we eat isn't digested correctly and stays in the intestine. But what happens if digesting food stays in intestine? It's the same as I squeeze this towel, as you see if I squeeze this towel more and more, it becomes dry and lost its war. This happens exactly in human's intestine when we can't digest food correctly. Food stays in our intestine and lost its war and becomes dry. And it causes trouble for us, same as constipation. 
So that's why it is necessary that we go to the toilet soon when we need for preventing from constipation. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope today's issue of Science Cook would be helpful for you.